Hey guys, D-Mike here for another episode of Pokemon. Throwing a diamond. Knocked out the first half of the Elite Four. Who's ready for more? Get out the door. Walk the dinosaur. Things are about to get muy picante. Remember this guy? Met him in Sunny Shore City when he was trying to get Volkner back up on his feet? It's your boy Flint. Here we go. Let's get crack a lacking. His Ronald McDonald esque hair. His weird armbands. Deep V popped collar. Choker necklace. This guy has all kinds of eccentricities. But he is the Fire Elite Four member. Sort of. You'll see what I mean by that in a moment. My boy Flint here is going to start off with a fire Pokemon. One of two that you can easily find in Sinnoh. But then after this, it just gets kind of murky. It's very strange. I'm not entirely sure why they chose to do things this way, but you know, I'm not a game designer. I don't get to choose. So it is what it is. But thankfully, Rapidash is not a very tanky Pokemon. I'm actually surprised that uh, the game only gave, as you'll soon see, two Fire-type Pokemon to Flint, although that's more of a joke because there really aren't a whole lot of good options in Sinnoh. You have Ponyta, you have Chimchar, and that's kind of it. Not really a, not really a robust selection, we'll say that. And as you already see here, Flint, second Pokemon in, not a fire type. Now, in fairness, I don't think that there's anything inherently wrong with having your team composed of things that aren't the type that you are known for. I think the diversity is nice. However, it would have at least been cool if they could have done maybe a fire subtype or anything remotely similar. Like a low punny, it might have a fire move, but in general, not really the kind of Pokemon that you would expect to see on an Elite Four member's team. Also rule 34, weird. But anyway, yeah, I mean, I like, I like the mixing it up, I like the diversity, but there's gotta be a little bit of, a little semblance of kind of consistency or like theming. I just, it just feels a little strange to me that they couldn't have at least done a little more with it. But then again, in fairness, the Platinum Dex has more fire types to choose from. This one doesn't really. So there is the dilemma of not really having that much to choose from. That's just not really a thing. So they're doing the best with what they have. Oh, get out of here with your gosh dang sturdies. Is that what that was? Ooh, he's got a big old crunch. Steelix is a cool Pokemon. I guarantee that Flint's about to heal him, though. Oh, nope. This is going swimmingly in the poo-poo water. Thankfully, Samuel's thick, so we don't have to worry about not being able to withstand various types of attacks. Okay. Here is where you need to be very, very careful. Why? Well, I'll tell you. Drifblim, as a Pokemon, really, 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 really loves to use the move Minimize. Minimize will raise its evasion. When it does that, you won't be able to hit it. Now, Drifblim using Minimize is not the problem. Trying to hit Drifblim is obviously annoying, but the thing that's the biggest problem is that Drifblim, when it uses Minimize, it's gonna be doing that, which it, apparently it's not going to do now, so it's not, it's gonna make me look stupid, but when it uses Minimize, in doing so, it's gonna Baton Pass, which it just did to Infernape, but it Baton Pass nothing. It's gonna pass along the benefits of such a thing. Now, 
It kind of works in our favor a little bit since it didn't use Minimize the way that I was expecting it to. So we got kind of lucky. Hopefully it doesn't use Thunder Punch. Nice. Very good. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to outspeed Infernape. Maybe the Paralysis will help. But yeah, normally it will Baton Pass a fully loaded Minimize. Like three or four stages of it, which is really, really annoying. Okay. Oh, wait, that didn't kill it? Oh, did it? Oh my gosh, I forgot it had Focus Sash. Oh, what a pain in the buns. We have to hope that it'll uh, get paralyzed here. We're going to be... Ooh, ooh, don't like that. That paralysis was actually pretty lucky, now that I think about it. But we do actually want to try to keep the team alive. Obviously you do. That's kind of a duh. But we do want to keep the team alive because not getting the experience for your team members here will actually really hurt you if you're underleveled like I am for what you're going to have to deal with later on down the road. So that's just something to keep in mind. You don't have to do any of that. But... I prefer to do it. Oh, we used a full rest. Oh, now we're back to square one. However, two close combats. There are only five, as you know. Charlie has the same move. Will re result in Infernape having two stages already of its defenses being lowered. So if we can survive this, maybe. That's three stages. Infernape is going to be in a world of trouble here in a moment with a big old bad earthquake. Oh yeah, taking it out. No more Focus Sash to bail it out. Okay, now here is the tricky part. I forgot to restore Miguel. <laughs> but we're getting levels for everybody else, which is really useful. You definitely want to get levels. I'm just telling you in advance. If you haven't grinded to the higher ends of the 50s or early 60s, you'll probably be in a world of hurt going forward, unless you get really lucky. Okay, let's go ahead and bring back Miguel. Hopefully this Drift Bloom doesn't have anything that's gonna be super dangerous. Okay, eh, I mean, whatever. It'd be nice if we had one of those moves that if you're hurt by a status effect. Oh, well, doesn't matter. We healed it anyway. That's kind of cheap, but let's see what we can do here. Actually, I want to hit it with one rock slide. Man, Samuel is just being an absolute champ in this battle. I like it. Kind of want to get Miguel back in this one because he did fall behind in not being able to participate in the last fight. I don't know. I feel like Drifblum probably has like Thunderbolt or something. And this is potentially a really horrible choice. But it's not. Yeah, okay. This is one of the things that I was afraid of, is that when I play through this Elite Four matchup, that... What is that? Strength Sap? I've never heard of that move in my life. Ooh, he loaded my attack. Oh, he healed himself all the way. What? Okay. Well, I've never seen that before. That's super uncool. But what I was going to say is the game itself... It's probably because of like younger players of the game. It doesn't want to, I guess, discourage from being able to have fun and do all kinds of different things, getting to further parts of the game. But the thing that I dislike is when the healing happens. I don't like the game to cheese it for me like this, healing its burn. Oh, here we go, here we go, everybody. This is what I said. Now, the challenge here is, on top of avoiding the evasiveness, is that, well, never mind. We got kind of lucky on this one with the game. I feel like the game kind of cheesed it for us a little bit. I'm okay with that. But, oof. Okay. We'll take it.
I thought the game was going to uh, have me draw this dumb fight out. That could have gone a lot worse, we'll tell you that. All right, let's go ahead and drink some milk while we're here. Let's see. Uh, actually, actually, let's use a hyper potion. I'm going to try to do this in a way where I don't burn items that I don't need to. Unfortunately, I don't really have anything that's in between a Moo Moo Milk and a, a Hyper Potion. I don't have anything weaker than that. But I do have a lot of Oran Berries, which will heal 10. So we'll do that. Get everybody in tip-top shape. Definitely make sure you heal your Pokemon in between. Every little HP matters. All HPs matter. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and say in advance that you're going to want to have any of your Pokemon that know a ghost move or a steel move, a poison move. And you're going to want something that can hit hard and fast. Long and hard and fast. You definitely want to keep those things in mind. Okay. Here we go. Elite four member, number four, four of four. That's the last of all of them, I believe. And this fella, Lucian, has apparently got enough time to be reading books in between battles. What a cool guy. But what's the point of reading a book when you can watch the movie? Ooh, he's gonna go all out on us. Okay, let it all out. Let's go, fella. I can take you down, I'm not afraid. Let's make it happen. Okay. His first Pokemon is Mr. Mime, who I have always thought is creepy and will probably continue to feel that way forever. Mr. Mime, historically, has always been a psychic type, but because of Generation 6, Mr. Mime is now psychic and fairy. So that's something to keep in mind. This is where the ghost type moves come in handy. Unfortunately, Mr. Mime Got a pretty decent amount of defense, and so it begins. This is one of the things that I've noticed about this game for whatever reason, is that they feel really compelled to just draw fights out for no reason. Like, there's no real good reason to use, like, stalling tactics. It just kind of gets on my nerves a little bit, and I just think it's a bit of a waste that... This is what you get though. It would be nice if I had a, uh, if I had some dark moves, but I don't. We're gonna start to get into the dynamic of how Bart is going to be amazing and how important. Ooh, I guessed wrong. Thankfully we survived on that one. Okay, um, whew. I guess we'll try a Shadow Ball and see if we can maybe knock it out. I doubt it. The light screen is going to really hamper our... Yeah, oof, that just cuts everything in half, doesn't it? Yikes. And so we've got Mr. Mime here just spamming Psychics. Now, it has not used Reflect yet. It has not used Reflect yet. So, I got to think of who on my team here has the highest attack stat. I don't know if Mr. Mime... I don't know if Mr. Mime has good defense, and until it uses Reflect, I don't really have to worry about that. Unless it's regular defense. Regular is through the roof. Ow! Oh. Who? Well, never mind. Usually they wait until the Pokemon is in the red before they're even gonna consider hitting you with the full restore. Man, even a full-powered Brave Bird, not enough to take down the Apparently very tanky Mr. Mime. Like, I was not expecting that. I'll give him another one. Ooh, he does have a fairy move, though. This is gonna hurt. Ooh, forgot about that. Yeah, so fairy is strong against dark type. You gotta kind of be careful. I think maybe Suzanne can get in there and hit him with something strong and fast. It's gotta be 
effective though. I'm gonna use beat up, that's not a bad idea. But beat up, unfortunately, is a move that if you don't have your full team, you don't get the full effect of the beat up. You only get as many beat ups as team members you have presently. I guess, I don't wanna say alive, because not dead, but you know what I'm saying. They can't be fainted. If your Pokemon are fainted, then uh, you're kind of in bad shape. All right, so Metacham, Psychic type, Fighting type. Team's not really looking so hot. I might throw Steven in there just for a moment to see if we can slow the bleeding a little bit. This is a bit of a tough fight. Never hurts to put paralysis on stuff, to be completely honest. And then the benefit is that if it is a Pokemon that relies on physical attacking, the added bonus of Steven's Intimidate will take it down a bit, so never hurts to consider that as a possibility. There we go. We're already seeing the We're already seeing the benefits pay off for us. Hopefully it doesn't have anything super gnarly. Bart's actually the best team member to bring in for something like this. Ooh, high jump kick. Let's see what our defense is made of. Apparently not much. Okay. That was super uncool. This is one of the things that does get kind of annoying is that in fights like this, you're going to have to juggle trying to keep your Pokemon alive, deal with reviving, stalling for turns if you need to. It does get a little, oh boy. This is not good. But we do have Leech Seed now, so we'll be chipping away slowly at Metasham's HP. Samuel's actually a very good Pokemon for instances like this. Pretty tanky, able to withstand quite a few hits. You want your team to be alive, I'm telling you, through these fights. You don't want to knock out too many Pokemon when your team is incapacitated. Missing out on that delicious HP. Nope, experience. See, I did it. I can't even make it through the final part of the Elite Four without saying the wrong things. <sighs> Was that two? <gasps> two paralyses? Nice, very good. And see, even on turns where we're not doing damage to Metacham by our own volition, that Leech Seed is going to be useful. And if they do a full restore, it's not going to bail them out, which I think is super useful. I really appreciate that. Okay, so I'm trying to think. I'd like to do something that's not super effective, so that way the next turn when I do hit it with something effective, it will hopefully knock it out. Now that, coupled with a Leech Seed, might be just enough to give us the advantage. Oh, beautiful. This is going This is going a lot better than I thought. Feeling good. Now the only problem is that you gotta really be mindful of that HP bar if you don't do enough damage and the turns that you need to, they will heal. And that just really complicates things. It just prolongs the battle by another turn. Um, I'm gonna try another rock slide. Man, we are just getting all the rolls. I like it. Feeling good, because that doesn't do a ton. And hopefully Leech Seed will allow it to stay in the yellow. Boop, this is not good. Well, that's unfortunate. Thankfully, though, like I was saying, is Metacham. Oh man, it's cure to paralysis, dude. That's what we were, what we were hanging our hat on. Pretty uncool. Probably should have used Earthquake a turn, a turn sooner. That was my mistake. But that Leech Seed, it's always gonna come in handy. See, you can probably get away with. And we might let's let's go with Earthquake this time around. Quick Claw coming in clutch. See if this will do it. It just might. Ugh. Thankfully though, we do have that Leech Seed that will bail us out here in a moment. Man, that is one strong fighting type Pokemon. All right, and I wanna see, let's look at experience here and who's who needs the most here. It's gonna die no matter what, but I'd also like to take advantage of the 
little bit of HP that we'll get from the Leech Seed on this final part of the turn. Actually, I don't think it... Never mind. I thought it would. It, it is not. Hopefully it doesn't go before us. There we go. Nightshade's nice. I don't really need to keep Nightshade on on Miguel like this, but I like to have it because it's just good for that little chip damage. And see? 1 HP. That's all we needed. It's perfect. Alright, Giraffe Rig. Uh, giraffe Rig is normal, and it's also psychic. So I want to say... Hmm... I kind of want to go Bard again. I'm not entirely sure... I kind of I just want to lay down the Leech Seed. My team was kind of hurt. I don't really want to burn through a ton of my, my healing items. Now, Bard's not really the best choice here. Because... What? Sap Sipper? Oh, we don't even get a turn? Oh, man. I didn't know that. What are the odds that it has a, an ability that directly cancels what I'm capable of doing? What a pain in the butt. That just seems cheap to me. I don't like that. Not cool at all. Game not cool. All right. We are missing two of my Pokemon. Um, I'm afraid of... I'm afraid of using turns to buff the team. If I had my full shot of six, I would be okay, but I don't. I only have the four. That's two of my Pokemon have fainted. So unless this draft rig has something crazy that it knows. Okay, Trick Room. That's a waste of a turn for, for draft rig. Kind of a fun fact about draft rig. It is a Pokemon that was introduced, I believe, in Gold and Silver. And it's Sprite, as you can see. The front kind of looks like a bit of a, a giraffe with a, uh, kind of like a, I don't even know, like a demon type of thing on its tail. Now, in the beta sprites of Gold and Silver, Giraffe Rig has a different sprite. Instead of it having that weird little knob on its tail with the creepy face, it looks like a dark version of giraffe rig like just a, a like a black or a dark brown giraffe looking thing so i think that sprite was cooler i don't know kind of what on earth they were going for there but it doesn't matter because it's dead it's dead but there you go we got to keep our levels up every little bit of experience is going to help you trust me you'll want it now, here's one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, Alakazam. I love Alakazam. And I'm shocked that we actually got to attack first. Alakazam's actually a pretty easy Pokemon to handle. You have a decent Dark type. It doesn't have good defense. And if you have a physical Dark type, that's even better for you. Alakazam is kind of the classic glass cannon Pokemon. All offense, no real defense. Okay, here we go. Oh, this one is a, this one's a, uh, a bit of a butt. So I don't really care for Bronzong. Not a huge fan of it. Brandy was on our team briefly, but Bronzong as a Pokemon is incredibly beefy. Has a ton of defense. Not going to hit you very hard, but it's going to take you a while to whittle it down. So this is a perfect opportunity that you'd want to use. A leech seed. Hopefully Bart can... Nope. Okay, great. Just kidding. So this is going to be a team effort here. We're going to want all hands on deck to take down Bronzong. I think this is Lucian's final Pokemon, if I'm not mistaken. Which is good. So basically, we just want to kind of slow it down. We want to cause all kinds of havoc. It's already not really fast, but having the chance for it to miss a couple turns is good, but you also have to be mindful that even if it is missing turns, there is the chance that if you do get it to a certain level of low HP, Lucian's gonna tot, tot. What did I say that? He's gonna trot. Yes, those are the words I wanted. He's going to trot. out. Oh man, I just my brain just completely like short circuited there for a moment. He's gonna try to full restore. Whew, you ever have those moments where your brain just stops functioning? Oh boy. 
Okay, anyway, we're doing fine, guys. Guys, it's fine. We are doing fine. Oh, I did not know that it had that. Ooh, Steven somehow survived that. I'm not entirely sure. I guess the, uh... The Intimidate must have kicked in a little bit. Okay. So... Ooh, that's actually very good. This is gonna be our chance now. Ugh, not... The berries are so annoying. But now this is our opportunity to try to hit it with a very heavy dark attack. I don't know if it's special defense is better or if it's regular defense is better, but I imagine they're probably roughly the same, if I had to guess. And it's paralyzed, so we'll get another turn of Leech Seed in there. Nice. I'm just afraid that it's not going to be enough, so hopefully it doesn't know any sort of... moves where it can wipe us out in one shot like Thunderbolt. We're actually going to heal up on our off turn. Sometimes it's best to to stall. Oh my goodness. Well, I was not expecting that. Okay. That is uh, super uncool. But this is what Samuel's for. We'll just need to stall for a moment. You're just going to really want to keep your Pokemon alive. Especially considering what's coming up next. Let's see if we can survive an Earthquake. Very good, Samuel, my guy. Slowly whittle it down. Okay, and I don't remember how much HP Suzanne has. So, what... what um. What Trick Room was that he uses it, I believe it swaps the speed of the Pokemon. So having that on a Bronze Dog is actually really smart. The slower Pokemon is going to go first, and it's going to be able to... Oh, poo. I thought I'd be able to get in an attack there really quick. I thought Suzanne would be quick, but apparently not. Seems to be a bit of a downfall for me using... Suzanne a lot of the time in these fights. I'm not really having a ton of success in using Suzanne to attack first for some reason. I'm just not not getting any attacks. It's just not working for me, unfortunately. I just hope that the Leech Seed does not wear down Bronzong too much. I feel like we didn't survive this last time. Yeah, we did. All right, so we might be able to just take it out Ah, no, it's going to use... It's probably going to use... Um, he is probably going to use Full Restore. That's a bit of a... Oh, never mind. Maybe this will kill it. We can get out of here unscathed. All right. Not bad. We are very underleveled, though. I'm a bit concerned for... <laughs> the future here. Okay. Not bad, everybody. Not bad. Witness our power. We are a ranger of power. What? There's one more trainer? Stronger than the rest? Oh my goodness, I had no idea. Nope, that's the way that things go in these games. You will fight the Elite Four. Four of them. Smart. And once that is concluded, you will be fighting the champion of the League Board. So just prepare yourself for that. It's a bit unfortunate that I wasn't able to revive Suzanne in time, or I didn't think of it. I just really wanted to wash, wa wash my hands of it. So yes, there is one more battle left. It is a bit of a bit of a doozy. We'll put it that way. It's pretty tough. It's meant to be it's the final battle that you'll be that you'll be doing. Do I have any citrus berries? Okay, I do. Citrus berries heal about 30 HP, I believe. Samuel needs exactly 30. And you know what? You might as well just go all out with your items now. Oh, it healed up 44. 
I thought the max it would heal was 30. I didn't know that. Okay. And let's see what moves are a little bit low. I've got a feeling that we'll definitely want to have full earthquakes. Earthquakes are great. We definitely want leech seed. We're going to use leech seed probably a pretty healthy amount. Looks like we're doing okay on that front. Um, everything seems good there. We want more Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts are useful. And everything else is pretty good. That actually was a relatively uneventful two rounds. So I'm not super concerned, but I am concerned about what we're about to do. This fight is meant to be tough. We're gonna go ahead and save. Just in case. All right, it's time for a champion battle. Who could it be? Who is our final opponent? Oh, it's Cynthia. Oh, wow. She's very thankful and she's about to just pound us in the dust. Cynthia is certainly very tough. And very fast. So here we go, everybody. This is a very difficult fight, as it's meant to be. She's got some pretty interesting Pokemon, most of which are pretty high level, pretty strong. She's gonna lead with a Spiritomb. Spiritomb is, is an interesting Pokemon. It is unique in that the way that you get one is pretty complicated, pretty complicated. And I think that the process is not really worth it. The return on investment isn't there. I don't really care for it very much. It's a bit of a kind of a waste of time, in my opinion. So I personally would not endorse going for a spirit tomb. But if you're into that, then you be my guest. You have to go underground, all over Sinnoh, the various random spots you choose. And talk to NPCs. When you talk to the various NPCs, you will find 32 of them scattered throughout the underground. And in doing so, you will find the opportunity to go and get yourself a spear tomb. Okay. Spear tombs is not great. You get the odd keystone outside the Lost Tower in Celestian Town, and I don't know. I just uh, doesn't really do it for me. Okay. So let's see. Actually, I want to check my items really quick. I don't have any... I have a lot of healing items. That's kind of... That's kind of what I got going for me. I want to make sure that my team is given equal opportunity here to do some damages. You gotta mix it up in the same way that she's gonna mix it up too in this fight. That's what makes it really challenging. Okay, it's gonna use Dark Pulse. That shouldn't do much to us. You just gotta find it one of the members of her team if you can that will uh you have the chance to set up that's kind of what you want just hope that you'll get the opportunity to do so speed is of the essence as well as just being fast enough to ugh. see this is the downside i would love the game to actually cheese it a little bit for me I would really I would really go for that right about now it's just a very tough Pokemon to deal with, all things considered. I don't really have anything that's super good against it. And nobody really would. And I feel like it's only really weak to, I believe, I want to say only weak to fairy moves. So there's that. Oh boy. That is, 
unfortunate, but maybe the leech seed next time will bail us out. Oh, it has a, it's got a citrus berry. Don't you love that? Okay. That shouldn't do too much to Miguel. I was expecting it to have some sort of a jerk fairy move that would knock us out. Thankfully, no. I think we're about to get... Watch Cynthia use a full restore, though. That's kind of annoying. Yes. You gotta watch out for those type of items. Those are the tricky ones. Nightshade's a nice... Kind of in the middle of the road move that will whittle down just enough HP for you to use your stronger moves. That's kind of what you want. get that set up early and hopefully it'll be enough to whittle it down. Always gonna have to deal with the imminent item use though. That's kind of the worst part. Okay. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Actually, the leech seed might be what does it and eventually I kind of want to use one of my max revives on Charlie here. I would like Charlie to have better defense, but does not. Charlie's defenses could use some work. Okay. Slowly chipping away. Could definitely kill it on this turn. If we go first, we do. Thankfully, we're faster than something for once. All right. So Spirit Tomb, not really the threat. Spirit Tomb is not the one you should be worried about. Everything else, though. Everything else is pretty darn bad. Okay, this is... Speaking of... My Lodic is... Pretty darn strong. I mean, every, every Pokemon on our team is darn strong, to be honest. Kind of goes without saying. We will intimidate it. The weird sea monster. And... So let's heal. I don't think we'll outspeed it, unfortunately. But I... Don't know if it has anything that could take us out in one hit. It probably does. It probably does. If I had a guess. And Scald. That's not too threatening. And it burned itself, so its attack is gonna be even weaker. I don't know if that slows it down. But let's see what we can do here. Kind of want to bring Bart into the fold. It's just a very complicated situation because you always want to try to set up if you can. So using Scald is going to be useless. Bart should hang in there. Nice. Very good. And it's going to damage itself every turn because that burn. Burn and turn. See if we can get one Giga Drain off. Yes. Let's get our health back. Hopefully enough to withstand another Scald. Okay. I think it might know Ice Beam though. Yeah. Oof. That's unfortunate. Might have been better off using Leech Seed there. The one downside. Definitely going to want to have Bart back before the end of this battle. Leech is incredibly important. And you'll see why. Actually, having Steven in there is probably pretty good, too. Let's see if we can get a Thunderbolt. Ooh, I didn't like that. Did you see that? The game kind of paused for a second. That was kind of a, kind of a rude thing to do. Let's see how much this does. Eh. Eh. Not as much as I would have liked. I feel like Steven can hang in there for a moment, though. And we'll use the other max run on Bart. The only downside is, like, you just gotta try to... You gotta kinda wait it out, which is a bit of a, an annoyance. You don't want to try to item stall, but, you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. It's unfortunate. Now, let's see. So it actually... 
No, I guess it doesn't matter. There's always times where it would be nice to go to Paralyze, because that increases your chances of hanging in there. Ooh, that is gonna hurt. I have to bring Stephen back in eventually, in some capacity. It's interesting the order of Pokemon that she chooses to use and when she uses them. I think that's always kind of, that's pretty interesting to me. It depends upon what you use. You know, she'll, she'll wind up changing her order of operations based on your choices. So there we go. My Lodic is gone. Okay. So no experience for Steven, unfortunately. We have no time. What does Calm Mind do? Hold on. It raises special attack and... Eh. I mean, having special attack is nice, but we have Nasty Plot for that. Raising special defense isn't really going to do a ton. Although, eh, I mean... We don't have anything we could really set up against. That's kind of the downside is, like, we don't really have... We don't really have the time to to really set up, so it's kind of inconsequential. All right, so here's Gastrodon. Pretty decent Pokemon that we can use to heal the team back up, I think, just because Bart is pretty good against the type of Pokemon that Gastrodon is. He shouldn't take too much damage from it. I don't think it really has many moves that are good against it. But just so I don't die, I'm going to throw a Leech Seed out there. Okay, or just avoid my attack. Uncool. It's going to slow me down, though. It's the one downside. If you could just quit that. Before too long, it's going to start going before me, and I don't want that. But we'll use this to slowly whittle it down while we stall a little bit. Okay. I have a feeling that we could probably kill Gastron in one turn. I kind of don't want to do that. I would like to use Gastrodon to actually set up my team a little bit. It's the one downside of these type of fights is it's usually a war of attrition. I mean, not in a good way. Let's see how much an earthquake does. Eh, that's not too bad. We can eat another earthquake with the leech seed. What did that do? Oh, it knows leftovers. Oh. I see. Is this enough to get us over the halfway mark? Oh, yeah. Gastron has a lot of HP, which is really good. So we'll definitely want to prioritize that. Let me see what we got. I do want to heal Steven. Steven seems like a good choice. Definitely want to have Bart available, though, for the finale, if we're able to. Okay. Well, things are going okay so far. I keep saying okay, but it's kind of how I'm feeling. We're doing a little bit of heal stalling for now, but we're going to want to prioritize making sure that Bart is alive at one point. Bart is a very key part of the team to help us finish things off. So this is not super exciting, I apologize, this specific part of the fight. But it's worth it, trust me. You're going to want your team to be in fighting shape if you're able. And just take your time, you know, breathe, don't forget to breathe. It's very important. Everybody's basically healed up now use that final mall from Miguel. You just need to find ways that you can slow down the other team. That's kind of the big thing. It's like, do you have a way to do that? And that can be the tough part. It's not always a really good answer for it. And some, some teams you can't slow down, so there's that. Okay. And it... it You'll find certain moments when you're like playing that you'll have situations where you think 
the things are all going your way, and you're like, all right, I got, I got a setup, this is great. And then the game just pulls a real big old stinky fast one on you, so. Prepare yourselves for that, ladies and gentlemen. Not being faster than these Pokemon is definitely the toughest part. Oh, I forgot about Roserade, okay. So let's see what we got. Charlie seems like an obvious choice. Miguel would be good too, but I know I know that Roserade probably has, if I had to guess, some sort of fairy move as a counter. That seems like something the game would do to be a turd. She's got six Pokemon, not the usual five, so I did forget about that. It's my mistake. All right, so we missed the Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb is pretty strong for some reason. Charlie's special defense is not great. So let's see if we can maybe get in a flamethrower. That'd be great to knock it out. I don't know if we can withstand this. Okay, we did. So hopefully one flamethrower is enough to kill it. Let's see if with nasty plot. So nasty. Okay. So I don't know what she's going to use next, but I'm feeling okay. Okay, Lucario. Only problem is that Lucario is probably faster than us. Having Nasty Plot might not mean much if we can't do any damage to it. This five levels higher. Ooh, Aura Sphere. Yeah, that's a tough move. You're not gonna, you're not gonna avoid that one too many times. So we can get Bard in there. And throw on a leech seed. When in doubt, leech seed it out. I'm just telling you. It's a it's a great way to go. Oh, here's the nasty plot. This is when things get tricky. Nasty plot raises its special attack. So I don't know if a leech seed is gonna be enough. Everything that faces Lucario now is probably going to be getting poo-pooed on. That's the only downside. It's just so strong. And that special attack. Oof. I tell you what. It is, uh... I mean, how did it know? It's just, it just sweeps so much stuff. It's very strong. Okay, let's see if Samuel can hang in there for a turn. Maybe get a quick claw opportunity. With an earthquake, I don't know. Oh, there we go. Okay. Would have been really bad if the game was like, nope. Okay. So that was good. I want to say that her best move here, because she's going to use Garchomp, is we want to use Intimidate. One of the things that Garchomp has going for it is that it's very, very strong in its attack stat. So we're probably not going to get an attack off with Steven, which is unfortunate, but unless it has an ability that stops us, it does not. So Intimidate will cut its attack. That's very good. We want to heal up as much as we can. We want Bart to be in fighting shape. I don't know if Bart's going to be able to outspeed it, but it is one of our fastest Pokemon. It does no Earthquake, which is unfortunate. So you just gotta be ready for that. It's very, very strong, but trying to neutralize its strength is kind of the, the trickiest part. Okay, I don't know if Bart can withstand an Earthquake. It can, okay. How about it? We'll get, we'll get a leech seed going. The only downside is, will we ever be fast enough? That's kind of the tricky thing. But Garchomp has a ton of HP. So you will re you will absorb a lot of it. Just gotta hopefully get lucky one of these times and not run out of healing items yourself. I did buy a ton of full restores though, so I will be okay. You kind of want to stall it from being able to use Earthquake. That's its strongest move. It gets a stab bonus because of it being a ground type. So you just have to be careful here. 
slowly whittle its health down with the leech seed. That's kind of a cheap way, but you know, in a war of attrition, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Just make sure that you have at least enough in your healing items. You don't hit the wrong button. That's the biggest thing. I've lost runs in this final fight that way. Hopefully it doesn't critical hit me, but it only has 10 earthquakes and I have more than 10 healing items. So as long as it is not going to do a, it, as long as I can avoid a critical hit, that's kind of the big thing. A critical hit will do me in. That would be unfortunate. It's not going to miss though. Earthquake is 100% accuracy, I believe. We were able to neutralize it a little bit with Steven, so that was kind of kind of good on our end. Is being able to set up with having at least one level of attack stage being reduced. That's the important part, because Garchomp's attack stat is just through the roof. So we're getting pretty close to it hopefully running out of earthquakes. I don't know what the rest of its move set is, but I know that it's probably not as scary. And we're always going to get that health back because the leech seed. Now she's gonna probably wind up healing here in a moment. I don't know if I, ha I don't, I'm not gonna be fast enough to outspeed it and like take it out with one of my moves, but you know, it's, that's gotta be earthquake number nine or number 10. I'm feeling pretty good about wearing it out. And this is kind of just what you gotta do sometimes, especially when you're, you know, six to, eight levels lower than the other Pokemon. You just gotta do what you gotta do. Pull out all the stops. This is why Leech Seed and Toxic are a great combo. In combination, okay. So apparently it's not run out of Earthquake. Earthquake does have limited PP though. It is 10, I believe. The only thing that would be a downside is if the game is cheap. She's gonna have to waste one of her turns though to heal Garchomp, so. All right, so don't want to hit the wrong thing. Where's my full restores? Here we go. We got 43 turns of them. So there you go. Full restore is going to bring Garchomp back to tippy top. We're going to use a full restore too. Full restore gang. I kind of wish the battle arena was a little bit more dynamic for this champion battle. Is that out of... Okay. We should be able to get a turn in here. We might, let's throw Toxic on it. Oh, so, oh boy. Well, that's gonna negate the, uh, that's gonna negate everything I just did. Oh boy. I don't know what the rest of its moves are, but I guess we can just really hope that Toxic Leech Seed combo will hang in there long enough that we can take it out. All the Pokemon that I would use that would be kind of ideal in this moment are already on the field, so Bart is about to eat the big one here in a moment, because no matter what it uses, this thing it just has absolutely sky-high attack. Oof. Yeah, Leech Seed Toxic is probably going to pull some weight here, but... Oh, it still knows Earthquake? I thought it ran out of Earthquakes. That had to be more than 10 turns of Earthquake, come on. That's absurd. Unfortunately, I don't think Leech Seed slash... Oh boy, Toxic. I'm not going to be fast enough to get in a hit. That's the tough thing. Um, can hope. Yeah, see, come on. How many Earthquakes does it know? That was definitely more than 10 turns. Unless she has, like, unlimited Earthquakes, which I think is cheap. The only thing I could think is, like, if I could revive stall it, he's going to eventually full restore it, which I think would be cheap. But I kind of want to see what will happen if we do that too. We revive stall. And the only thing that's not affected by Earthquake is Miguel. It being a flying type. Poison jab? How much damage does that do? Eh, not too much. Must be out of Earthquakes now. Okay, and that's going to heal us a little bit. Ooh, there might be... There's a chance, everybody. There's a chance. We might be able to pull this off. Because I think it's out of Earthquakes now. She should full 
She should full restore here, but if we do hit it with an ice beam... Yeah, okay, so full restore does happen. I figured that would happen. But it is four times weak to ice beam, so... Oh, and it's gonna... Oh, I forgot it's got an ice weakening berry. What a turd. Be nice to freeze it, but that's not gonna happen. We still do have... We do still have the, uh, the leech seed, so... It's poison jab didn't do nearly as much as I thought it was going to. We're almost healed at the full. So hang in there, everybody. We get the quick claw. I don't know if the ice beam without the berry weakening it will be enough to take it out, but and it is. Okay, well, we did it. That is done and done. Holy smokes, I didn't expect that to happen. That's a defeated champion. Holding her scroat there. There we go. Oh, wow. Give yourself a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. What an amazing fight that I kind of cheesed a little bit. But you got to do what you got to do. Apologies for this video being long, but it was worth it. Okay. Thank you, Cynthia, for waxing poetic. I'd like you to get out of the way. We will stand next to you to assert Don. No, just kidding. We're gonna walk past you to assert dominance. How about that? Who's ready for a Hall of Fame experience? Oh. Oh my gosh. Green loading bars. Just what I wanted. You get a little bit of a remix of the opening theme, which is very nice. There's Useless Professor Rowan, of course. All right. Yeah, the one that you basically sent out into the wild to die. What is with these Pokemon games? That's right, we're a man. Pokemon, that's us. All right, he's gonna bring us, yeah, see? Apparently that doorway is not wide enough for two people to walk through it at the same time. Whew. Wipe the sweat off my brow. So apparently Cynthia and Professor Roman go way back. Time to record this final team. It's a permanent record. It's going on our permanent record. Would have been nice if I would have had all six Pokeballs, but... was not meant to be. Welcome to the hall. That's so cheesy. That's lame. But we did it. Su supremely underleveled. We did it. All of us together. Actually a pretty good team of all Sinnoh Pokemon. That Garchomp is tough though. Man. Talk about an absolute beast of a Pokemon. And eventually we will have our own Garchomp because Grayson is waiting in the wings. Oh yeah, everybody. Check it out, it only took us 31 hours. We done did it. So there's credits after this, but I don't really know who those are for. So I'm just gonna end the video here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for following along this Let's Play. There's still going to be some post-game content after this, but we're gonna leave it here for now. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for being a league champion with me. And I'll see you next time. Bye.